Okay, one more quick attack wing video for today, and we're going to be talking about the participation prize for this month. It's going to be the reinforcement sideboard and some colored bases. Uh, I went with purple bases because purple happens to be my favorite color. So here they are on my Nigwars. So I got four purple bases and eight purple stands, so that's kind of cool. We also had blue and green available. And here we have the sideboard. So the sideboard, and I think this is going to be a really crazy thing. Prior to the event, players select one of each of the following type card types. Place them on the appropriate section of the reinforcement. So captain, crew, uh, elite talent, one crew, one tech, and one weapon. The total cost of these cards may not exceed 20 points. So basically, this costs 10 points, and you get 20 points of upgrades on the reinforcement sideboard. During the action activation phase of any round, a player may use a ship's actions to equip that ship with one upgrade card from the sideboard. The ship must have an upgrade slot of the appropriate type, or exchange one upgrade with the ship with one upgrade on the same type on the sideboard. Exchange one captain from the ship with one captain on the sideboard. Upgrades that may only be purchased for certain ship types can only be equipped onto or exchanged to that specific ship type. Place an auxiliary, auxiliary power token beside the ship. If the upgrade that is equipped onto or exchanged onto that ship is of a different faction, or if the upgrade would have an additional cost applied to that ship, i.e. this upgrade costs plus five plus water points of purchase for or something or other. Uh, so what this means is, say, uh, something that can only be equipped to 5th edition or 5th wing patrol ships can still only be equipped to 5th wing patrol ships no matter what. And if you have any mismatches, it, you get an auxiliary power token. A captain or upgrade may be purchased multiple times or may be exchanged multiple times during the game. If a captain or upgrade which is currently affected by a game effect, i.e. critical damage card, disabled token, etc. is moved to a player sideboard, that captain or upgrade is no longer affected by the game effect. This game effect is a critical damage card flip the critical damage card face down when you put the ship. Um, so here it is about to, uh, resources in general. So basically, what the sideboard allows you to do is take 20 points of upgrades for 10 points. And to be perfectly honest, uh, that to me just seems way over the top. Because basically what happens, what you can do is the first couple of turns, you just simply you know move up forward one, get stuff off your sideboard, get your auxiliary power tokens, next turn move up forward one, district tokens, and get everything else off the sideboard. So by turn three, you've done nothing, the, games, the turns have gone really quick, and you've got your sideboard empty and you're playing with um, 100, uh, 10 extra points. Basically is what's going on. So that's uh, pretty darn powerful, in my opinion. In fact, probably a little bit too much powerful. Because there's no, you don't have to pay the points, the faction penalties and points. You pay the faction penalty in an auxiliary power token, which in the first couple turns of the game really just does not matter. So, uh, but that is the participation prize. You'll probably see this a lot if you play in month four. And uh, yeah, I think this is pretty crazy, pretty much over the top. Thanks for watching.